Hey guys, it's Gary Dean, GaryDeanDetailing.com, DetailJuice.com, and RawDetailTV.com. Uh, I'm working on a Jaguar XFR today. Um, it's in British Racing Green. I have sectioned off several panels. I have already compounded the hood uh, with my Transform Polish from DetailJuice.com, which is I put it in the mid-grade polish category. It finishes re really well, uh, but it cuts really well also. Uh, but there are definitely polishes, compounds I should say, on the market that cut more. So it's, it's actually a polish that you would use if you want to remove your swirl marks and some a little bit of deeper scratches, but not try to correct 100% unless you want to do several section passes uh, prior to Vitality Polish or whatever you're finishing with. So anyway, uh, I have, I mean you can see the defects in the paint. I'll grab my LED light. Like I said, I got it all prepped and I compounded the hood and really nasty try to get, get you a good view the metallic won't show you much but you can see how much better it is I still have to finish it but I'm using transform polish from detailjuice.com let's see how hazy it is and then you got your clarity back it's still hazy but all the defects are gone So, see how nasty it looks right there. This LED light isn't doing it justice. You really need to see it in person. Unfortunately, that's not possible. I haven't done anything. All I did was put the tape down. I, didn't, I haven't compounded or polished or anything. But it's all kinds of hacked up. It looks like either the previous owner uh, or the current owner. Somebody took it through a lot of car washes. Uh, these barrels were really nasty. I had to break out my acid from my marine line from detailjuice.com to get those looking amazing. Um, I also had to acid down the wheels because they were pretty caked with brake dust and stuff. I got the fender wheels all clean. I mean this thing is just absolutely riddled with scratches. But I'm gonna get it straightened out. Uh, the plan is compound polish Infinite Diamond Shield 2.0, which is a uh, brand new nano glass coating from DetailJuice.com. So I'm going to get to work. Just wanted to show you guys what it looks like prior to really hammering down. I've got the uh, the trusty rupees out with the uh, microfiber cutting pads and gonna get it done. So without further ado, I won't bore you any longer since you can't see a whole lot other than the 50-50 I showed you in the back. But hopefully when it's done, you'll be able to catch a uh, sunshot or I'll be able to catch a sunshot for you outside I, uh, I actually compounded the hood. A buddy of mine brought the uh, Griot Garage, uh, the Boss 20, the G21 polisher. And let me just tell you, as a for a quick review of that, um, it feels more comfortable in your hand than the Rupees LHR 21E. Uh, it is more. It seems like it's more powerful, but it still has the same inherent problems as the Rupees does and all the other large throw DAs, they struggle on contours. The pad literally stops turning, so you need a smaller diameter uh, and throw DA to come back on those uh, contours and edges. For example, when I was doing this area here, um, it would stop. I switched over to the Rupees, did the same thing. So 
you know, my review is it seems like a, a very well built machine and there's no problem with buying it in my opinion, but I will tell you that if you already have the Rupees LHR 21E, there is no reason in my opinion to go buy the Boss. There's just, you, you don't need it. It's, it. It does nothing that the Rupees can't do, period. Uh, and if you have the Boss, there's no reason to buy the Rupees, vice versa. Uh, both good machines. I've had my Rupees LHR 21E for, man, since I think I got one of the first shipments to the US and it's still running good. Um, but yeah, Boss works fine. Just not, in my opinion, not any better than the Rupees. So uh, if you already have one, don't bother buying the other. All right, without further ado, I'm gonna get to work and stop yapping. All right, we're back. I have completed the detail on this Jaguar uh, XFR. And we got the exhaust tips all shined up and coated. I got the wheels very, very clean. Uh, and the faces are coated, the paint is coated, the glass is all coated. Everything was coated with Infinite Diamond Shield 2.0 uh, from DetailJuice.com. Uh, this car was severely hacked. Um, I also wiped out the door jams, vacuumed the interior, wiped it all down. I throw that in on these bigger jobs because I know it's not cheap and I try to add value wherever I can. Takes me a few extra minutes and the uh, customer comes in, gets in a, a super clean car and gets to go home feeling like he just took the car off the showroom floor. So here's where we're at. I'm uh, pretty impressed with the work that my transform polish did on removing the defects from this, this vehicle. Uh, I then polished the entire exterior. I ended up going with, uh, for the final polishing, since in my line you would go from transform polish to vitality polish, which actually has a sealant built in, so it's an all-in-one. Uh, I didn't want to do that because we were protecting with the nano glass coating Infinite Diamond Shield 2.0. So what I did was I finished with the Sonax Perfect Finish. Uh, I did two full isopropyl alcohol wipe downs on the vehicle. And then I applied, like I mentioned already, the Infinite Diamond Shield to all the paint, chrome, uh, all of the trim there, all the glass, all the wheels, the exhaust tips, the headlights. I mean, this thing looks amazing. And to be fair, Infinite Diamond Shield, I mean, people say, how long does it last? Well, it's a nano glass coating like a lot of the others out there. It's silica based, so it looks fantastic. I uh, recently re-released it. Uh, because uh, we were able to improve upon it uh, in a couple different ways. But uh, the Jaguar looks stunning compared to how it looked before. I'll show you just with the LED light, the metallic jumps out at you. I mean, there are definitely some defects left. This thing was absolutely hammered. And you can see you know, there's some deeper scratches left in this thing. There's a, a big scratch right there. Uh, some etchings. But because it's so new, I didn't want to just absolutely go to town with this thing. What I was trying to do is remove all the swirls, get rid of most of the random isolated deeper scratches, and preserve the structural integrity of the clear as much as I can while putting on the, or and putting on the coating to finalize the deal. And it looks amazing. 
This is uh, British Racing Green. Unfortunately, it's raining now and it has been all friggin' day. So I can't give you any sun shots, but you can see with the LED, there's no haziness. All you see is the metallic, which is what you want. It's like a rainbow metallic in there. It's pretty awesome. I love the way it looks. I mean, it's, oh, it looks amazing. It's gonna bead water. Very well. Yeah, I got some very good correction with the transform polish. It worked very well. Uh, I was using uh, Buff and Shine microfiber cutting pads. And then I finished with the white Buff and Shine foam pads on the Grio, I'm sorry, on the Harbor Freight dual action polisher. I cut it all with the microfiber cutting Buff and Shine pads on the Rupees LHR 21E. So, looks amazing. If you guys have any questions, feel free to give me a call or send me a text message or message me on Facebook. I'm always available for questions. Uh, also check out detailjuice.com rawdetailtv.com and garydindetailing.com will be up very shortly. We're redoing my whole services site. But you can't deny the shine, the correction. I mean, this thing looks amazing. And as I was, I was mentioning before, Infinite Diamond Shield, I give it a two year rating, rating but realistically, It'll last indefinitely depending on how you maintain the vehicle. If you got questions about that product, if you want to get a hold of it, you got to contact me directly. It is not on the site, but it is definitely part of the line at detailjuice.com. I didn't bother putting tire dressing on. You can see how nasty it is outside. So as soon as he pulls it out, it's going to get get all dirty and gross so it didn't make any sense so thank you so much for watching have a wonderful day and let me know if I can help you in your detailing endeavors